morning everybody headed back to old blue we got to get out to saskatchewan i got to get at least one of those deliveries done today i think i'm just going to get one done we have one in emerald park and then my next one's in swift current i don't think i'm going to get there by the end of business day i'm going to try but they're expecting me tomorrow morning and then i got to get a whole bunch done tomorrow And try to get that trailer empty tomorrow. I have six drops all together, so I'll have five left to do tomorrow. So if I hurry, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get like four. At least four done. And then I can do the last Wednesday morning. That's the plan, but I wanna sort of be ahead of the plan. One sec, I'm at Timmy's. Hi there, where can I get you? Hi, could I just have a large coffee with uh, two cream and a shot of espresso in it, please? Large coffee? Uh, that's it. Is this a large? Yeah, that's a large. Yeah. For some reason I had extra large in my mind. But I ordered a large, I remember that. My fault. Now I gotta try and get out of here. Just chaos. Suddenly the whole parade came to town just in time to block me in. Okay, you're coming in here. You're coming in here. You're coming in here. Okay, everybody's coming in here. Well, excuse me, I gotta get out of here. You're coming in here, you're not coming in here. Why aren't you going in here? Where are you gonna go get your coffee? I get suspicious when people drive past Tim Hortons. What's going on? Are you okay? You okay? You need to call someone? Let's go get the truck started. Let's get on the road. It's gonna be a day of prairies. It's gonna be a, a week of prairies again. Our last drop's gonna end us off in Atchison, just west of Edmonton, Alberta. So very similar to last week. And we'll see what we got from there. Hey, old Blue. How you doing? Got a few bugs on you. Oh, I'm sorry, it's been a rush weekend. It's been a rush weekend. Didn't have time to scrub her down. I was just home for a reset. I'm gonna get back out there. So, I'm south of Winnipeg. I'm headed westbound on Highway 210. That's just south of Winnipeg. Winnipeg is right over there. I'm taking 210 right now to avoid the south perimeter of Winnipeg. They got that overpass that's being constructed at St. Mary's. Fantastic, finally Winnipeg has listened and is building an overpass. They built one last year on the north perimeter, but now I'm a, anyways. Long story short, I'm happy about it. But in the meantime, the construction is quite intense, especially at this time of day. So the 210 runs parallel to it, just a few miles south of Winnipeg on the outside of the floodway. I'm gonna take this to Highway 75, which takes me up Pembina. If you're familiar with Winnipeg, if you're not from Winnipeg, I know all of this is just right over your head, but bear with me. I'm trying to avoid traffic. That's the, the short end of it. This highway is restricted in springtime, just so you know, between uh, uh, St. Adolph and the 59, but it is not springtime, hence all the trucks. And fire trucks, is this a fire truck? That's not a fire truck, is it? Is that a fire truck? No, it's just a red truck. Ha! Ah, just a red truck, not a fire truck. This is anyway, it's gonna bring me up to the west side of Winnipeg, and uh, then we'll, uh, rocket ourselves towards Emerald Park, Saskatchewan, just this side of Regina. Go. One of these pieces to drop off there, and then we're gonna rush over to Swift Current. Like I said earlier, I don't, I don't think we're gonna make it there by end of day today, but they're expecting me there tomorrow morning. I'll see what we can do. Maybe we can surprise them and show up tonight.
first delivery of six. I'm just gonna get the one done today. So this guy here is going to Pinoca, Alberta, rotary tiller. Three of these are going to Atchison, Alberta. It's my last stop. This one back here is going to Swift Current, uh, this loader. This one's going to uh, Hannah, Alberta, I believe, as well as one of those. Now this is going to Kindersley. Kindersley, Saskatchewan, that's going to Hannah, Alberta, Matchson. He's just moving this into the center for me so that it's not on the edge of the trailer because we just unloaded this one over there. Just a little bit. It's having trouble pushing it, it's catching on the trailer. This back there for now. I don't want to roll down the highway looking like a traffic cone. Okay, this delivery is done. I'm not gonna make it to Swift Car before they close. I'm gonna be there at 6.30, and they close at six. And that's if I don't stop for coffee. And I'm thinking I might wanna stop for a coffee. We're in, on the east side of Regina now, I gotta go around, probably stop in Moose Jaw at the Flying J there and grab a coffee. I think that would be the best option, and then, uh, Roll our way down, we got about two and a half hours to Swift Current. Find a good parking spot there, pretty much at the customer. And they open up 7.30 tomorrow morning, mountain time. So we'll be there at uh, like 6.30, 6.45, waiting for them. And we'll be on our way. We're gonna try to get Swift Current done. One sec, it's getting windy in here, sorry. This wind picks up, or this mic picks up all the wind. Just close one of my windows here. As nice as that fresh air is. We're going to try to get done Swift Current, Kindersley, Saskatchewan, Hannah, Alberta. Uh, after Hannah, Alberta, we have one more number, Pinoca, Alberta, that tiller, and then Atchison, Alberta. Let's see if we can get all five done tomorrow. Again, Atchison is only expecting me there the day after tomorrow. Same thing with uh, Pinoca, actually, but Pinoca, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get done tomorrow. So I'll surprise them and be like, hey, got your stuff here today. Some places don't like it when you surprise them like that, but these places I'm going to, the sooner you get there, uh, they'll be ready for you whenever. It's, they have guys just on unloading trucks here. It's not like you got to wait in line or anything. It's it's okay. But we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get on the road. Let's go get our coffee and start putzing our way over to Swift Current, Speedy Creek. I've driven six hours today already, or a little over six hours. I have about another two and a half to three to go. So it won't be a full day, but it won't be a waste either. Definitely got something out of the day. I'm guessing not a lot of traffic comes from that way. All right. All right, this intersection here is a little strange for me. Like you gotta go this way and then that way and then that way. Apparently these intersections are more efficient and safer. So I guess we'll take them at their word on that. It's very confusing for me because I don't deal with these that often. See, I've got to cross over oncoming traffic here. Gotta wait for the lights to do so. And then go and drive on the left side of the road like we're in England or Australia. And then go back over to the right. But then I gotta turn left up there somewhere yet. I think I gotta turn left before it goes back right. It's supposed to be safer. That's what they say about everything, right? They, they just wanna be different. That's all it is. They wanna be different and they're like, what can we do different? Well, you know what? will justify spending all this money by telling people it's safer. <laughs> Across this side. Oh, I should be turning from that lane. As a truck, I should always take the outside lane when going around the corner. See, I could go that way, but I'm going to go this way. Interesting, right? Oh, and then my lane ends anyway. I guess I could have stayed in that lane.
I think this turns into a lane, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. So to stay in this lane. And we want to go around the south side of the city on their uh, little version of the perimeter. I think I've got to exit left then, so I've probably got to be in that lane. I'm thinking I do, yeah. find out in just a bit. All these people are piling in beside me. That guy's in a hurry. It's because he's driving a Mercedes, that's why. You're allowed to be in a hurry. Mercedes and BMWs, they're always in a hurry. All right, we're gonna move over one lane here now. Because I think that right lane goes into the city and we want to go around the city. the moose there's a coffee waiting for me there somewhere here's flying jay off on the right there's no way i'm going in there it is packed right out to the street here Yep, not going in there. One kilometer, turn left on, Ninth Avenue. It's a very tiny lot, maybe 10 parking spots. We'll just go into the Petro Pass. For some reason, this one's not as busy. street over there. I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning. We made it here safe and sound. Didn't quite make it before they closed for the day, but they're expecting me there in about a half hour, so I'm just getting all blue warmed up. And we'll make our way over there. So thanks for hanging out with me today on our journey west. Tomorrow we will go further west into the great land of Alberta. Hope you join me. Don't forget to subscribe. I make videos every day if you're new. If you go down below the video to my description, uh, click the show more button there. You'll see all of my social media, uh, everything from, uh, what do I got down there? Facebook is my main social media platform. Uh, then Twitter. No, I'd say Facebook, then Instagram, then Twitter. Uh, I just got a, one of those uh, threads accounts, sort of like a Twitter knockoff. We'll see where it goes. I don't know if it's going to be a big thing or not, but just in case if it is, I got on board there. Uh, you can find me there. I got verified on Instagram now, which also is connected to threads, so I got the little blue check there now, so you know it's me. Other than that, yeah, you can find links to all of my social media. If it's not linked below my video, it's not me. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe.